So I started seeing some comments on an old video of mine about how to use the custom shape tool here in Photoshop where the shapes were missing. And sure enough, when I went to look, all I could see were trees and things in my custom shapes. Come to find out there's actually a way to get back all those missing shapes for whatever reason Photoshop has hidden that. In this tutorial, let's take a look at how to go find all of those missing custom shapes. So here we are in Photoshop with just a brand new document opened up. If I look at the shape tools, rectangle, ellipse, triangle, there's one called the custom shape tool. And then you can change what that shape is up here at the top of your uh, toolbar. Leaf, trees, wild animals, boats, and flowers. Those are the only options that I have, but there's way more shapes here in Photoshop. I thought maybe if I click this gear icon, I could find an option for that, but I don't actually have any option for that. What you have to do is go up to window, down to shapes, and that's gonna open up a different dialog box just geared towards those custom shapes. And when we click on the hamburger menu here, we have a lot more options, including legacy shapes and more. Click that option and it adds that folder in. And take a look at this folder. I'll go ahead and minimize this. And if we go back up here to our shapes, that folder now appears. And if we drop this down, we have absolutely tons of shapes. All the shapes that I've been used to being in Photoshop before. Emoticons like smiley faces. I believe we even have arrows and there's lots of different animals, sports equipment, signs, flags all sorts of things here that you can utilize within your Photoshop documents as vector assets. That's pretty much it. It's a super short tutorial, but that's how you can get all those shapes back into your Photoshop documents and use things like arrows really quickly without having to create your own shapes. This is the custom shape tool and it's pretty powerful here in Photoshop and it has a ton of custom shapes for you to use right off the bat. That's how you get them. I'm Spencer from Pixel and Bracket, and I'll see you guys in the next one.